worldwide, worldwide. Hey guys, what's up? Worldwide here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 180 reload darts. These are the 20 gram version, and they have the reflex points on them, the ones that go boy. So we're going to take a look at those. And you know, I don't even know if I should call this a review video because I don't know. I'm not going to be throwing the darts. I don't have a dart board set up, which you know, you think you think I would. Worldwide darts, right? So yeah, I don't have a dart board set up, so it's not really a review video. But we're going to take a close up look. We're going to go over the. We're going to check the weight. Go over the dimensions and let you guys get a good look at them so uh, let's get into the video okay I figure I'd start the video off at the 180 website the links for this site can be found down below in the description box or probably in the pinned comment but yeah check out these these are the 180 reloads that I'm going to show you today and the dimensions were pretty much spot-on I have the 20 gram version they were 5.65 millimeters wide or actually 5.65 millimeters thin right that's just about the thinnest 2ba dart that you can get super thin and the length on the ones I'm about to show you here are five or 56. 0.12 millimeters long and if we head over to a180 or any of your favorite uk shops the price is going to be 40 pounds or a little bit over 51 us dollars but for now let's take a look at these darts okay so this is what your 40 pounds or 51 dollars get you it comes in a like a foam carry case obviously you get your three barrels with the reflex points polycarbonate stems you get a set of pair flights a set of standard size flights and three red aluminum stems, aluminum stems. But yeah, look at these uh, pinkish type flights. Yeah, those are pretty ugly. And the red stems, well, they don't match anything either, but that's what you get. Okay, here we go, starting on the front end of the dart. And I wanna show you just how thin these reflex points are. Here is a Vokes tornado point. And as you can see, it looks huge in comparison, right? So these, yeah, these reflex points are super thin. I will give you an in-action shot of those here in a bit. Now, looking at the front end of this dart, this is one of the best features of this barrel, I think. Look at the transition point between the barrel and the point. Hardly any lip there whatsoever. And I actually had a hard time measuring the length of the barrel because the digital, digital calipers wanted to slip up against that. So yeah, there's hardly any lip whatsoever. And what that means is you're just gonna save on your flights. You're not gonna be wrecking your flights every couple days. Now your flights are gonna last you weeks, if not months. And looking further up on the barrel, basically it's just a multi-ring dart. And it has a very smooth feel to it. I would say that the grip level on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna probably give it about a two. But the, the main thing here is the barrel is so long, gives you a nice consistent grip all the way through. And on the back end here, these probably this uh, 12 millimeter section, the rings taper down. They're a little bit smaller. Well, they don't taper, but the rings are just a little bit smaller. And on the back end here, you obviously have your 180 logo. You got your polycarbonate stems and your ugly ass pink flights. I don't know why they put those on there. But yeah, let's get a check of the weight. We'll see how these are match weighted up. And we'll go from there. I think I'm going to end the video with uh, a little test of the reflex points. I'll just stick them in the board and give them a little twang. So uh, yeah, let's check the weight. Okay, let's check the weight of these. They're listed as 20 grams, 20.05, 20.02, and the final one is 20.03. Wow, pretty much uh, spot on. Let's get a check of the total weight as they come with these god-awful flights. 21.71 and let's do a quick uh, check this is my uh, cosmo carbon stem with a super kite flight that's as i would use them so 21.28 grams oh there you go that's uh, very closely match weighted okay i'm just going to throw six darts here and then i'm going to show you this setup that i'm working with but yeah i'm just going to throw six just to show you how the reflex points work in the board in case you haven't seen them before So they are a little springy, but really not that bad, to be honest with you. Floor is creaky. Hey, bullseye! I wasn't really standing at the official distance, and my board is on my computer chair. <laughs> it's only about two and a half feet high. But there you go, guys. I'm going to give you my final thoughts here in a second. Okay, let's wrap this video up. We'll go over a few pros and cons. One of the big pros 
are the reflex points. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not, but I really do. They're so thin, and when you combine that with the thinness of the barrel, 5.65 millimeters, it feels like you can fit about nine of these darts into the treble 20. So just an amazingly thin barrel and point. Wow, what a combination. And another thing I really like is the transition between the barrel and the point. It doesn't have that lip right there, so you're not going to destroy flights. You know, your flights are going to last you upwards of a month, maybe even more. And the quality of these is absolutely amazing. The only really negatives, I'm not a big fan of pink flights. And the other thing that might put some buyers off is the length of the barrel, 56 millimeters long. So that might be off-putting to some, but I, you know, particularly I like a long barrel, and I think I could get used to that pretty quick. But an overall an amazing dart, and I hope you guys liked the video, and hey, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Later.